Hey guys, Professor Bill of Comic Book University, and I'm going to explain 10 things about Thulsa Doom in about a minute. Thulsa Doom's original appearance was in Robert E. Howard's rough draft, Delacarte's Cat, which would become the finished story, The Cat and the Skull. His first comic book appearance was in Monsters on the Prowl, issue number 16, in April of 1972, by Roy Thomas, Marie Severin, and John Severin. Thulsa Doom is a sorcerer who existed in the pre-cataclysmic times in Marvel's Earth, before Atlantis sank into the sea. He is one of the Elder Race, a species that is theorized to have descended from the Elder Spawn, the children of Set. Thulsa Doom worshipped his great ancestor Set, seeking to bring about the means for the Elder Gods' eventual return, but he was consistently thwarted by King Kull. He can be temporarily killed by decapitation, and his permanent death only came about when his skull alone was sent through time. In the Dynamite Comics Company, Thulsa Doom was a slave of the Atlanteans, who was destined to become a force of evil. Delcartes' cat was not published in Howard's lifetime, so he reused the character in his 1929 story Skullface, renaming him Cathulos of Atlantis. Doom is the most powerful sorcerer in the Conan mythos, bar none. He is a necromancer, an illusionist, and a shapeshifter. He is also a warrior, though, able to cross swords with both Kull and Conan, and win. It helps that he is immune to damage from mortal weapons. Many sorcerers, wizards, and monsters have been modeled after him. And that's 10 things about Falsa Doom in about a minute.